everybody doing today? Back again on another video for everyone. And today what I have for everyone is my subtle unboxing and full review of the Eye Blast Song uh, case with built-in screen protector. Now, let me just go ahead and go through why I decided to pick up this case. And then we're going to do a little bit of a comparison. I'm going to talk about what's in the box. And then we're going to walk around the case. And I'm going to give you all my thoughts on it. So, the whole reason behind this video, the whole reason why I decided to pick up this case is... New notification New from YouTube. YouTube notification. Sorry, I forgot to mute those notifications before I started the video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to just do that now. Because I don't want that to be all up in the video with it. So let's mute that up. So the whole reason why I decided to pick up this case was because I don't know if you can see, but on my um my subcase, the Unicorn Beetle series subcase right here, this guy has some really deep grooves in the tempered glass part of the case. Well, in the screen protector part of the case, not tempered glass because this is plastic. So I jumped on Amazon. I was like, okay, let me order another one. Um, it was out of stock, and then it was unavailable. I'm like, well, damn. I, I kind of want, uh, you know, another case. I just don't want to rock my Moto X Pure Edition bear. Because, you know, I'm pretty abusive with my devices. So if they're not in the case, they're going to get roughed up pretty good. So I figured, okay, let me do my research, and let's find another one. And came across this one, the um, the Eye Blast Zone. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably butchering that. But it is what it is. And this is pretty much the packaging. This came via Amazon. Yeah, I know. I pretty much do most of my purchasing via Amazon. It came in a whole bunch of plastic. It was sealed up real nice. All that plastic there. Then you had your filler. And then they also had this 10% um, ten percent off loyalty code there. So wh whoever watches this video, feel free to use that because I'm not really going to use that. But if you guys want to use that, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Now, you can only use it once. So it's first come, first serve. So whoever the first one to watch this video and wants to take advantage of that code, you go right ahead. But that's pretty much... Everything that came in the box, including the case itself. So we don't really need this anymore. Let me throw this off the side. So pretty much, if y'all have checked out any of my case videos, y'all pretty much have seen the installation process for any case like YouTube this. YouTube notification. Sorry again, because I didn't mute. I didn't mute the G6 before I started this video. So if y'all hear that YouTube notica notifications going off in the background. I apologize. But pretty much for this case, you just separate it like so. Um, make sure the case is clean. Clean out in here. Clean out the, the inside here of the screen protector portion. Clean off the top. Because once it's sealed up, anything that you missed, you will be able to see. So separate it. Clean off your device real good. Drop it in face first. And either start bottom side. Or start side, however you want to do it. Put it, put your phone in, and then put this guy back together, and work your way around and snap it down, so on and so forth. All right, pretty much like this. But the only difference being your phone will be in there, and trust me, it's a lot harder with your phone in there. And then finally, this is your end result here so now I've been using this one all day I didn't really clean it off before it started this video so if you see stuff on the case that's why and um, I actually been using this for almost a week so that's why I figured I might as well go ahead and do a unboxing and a full review here cuz you know it's a case pretty much like after the first three or four days, you know whether you like the case or not. You know whether you want to move on to something else. 
But I just go ahead and stretch that out to about a week. Because, you know, that way it gives me time to formulate my full opinions on these things. So I can go ahead and tell you what I do and don't like about the case. But pretty much, I, I went through the installation process. Now let's go on to the full review portion. Now, in terms of the build quality for the case, I would have to say that it's really, really good. All the materials, in this case, the TPU plastic and the regular plastic and what have you, and the grippy textures on it are really, really good. Let me see if I can zoom in, give you guys some close-ups. So you can see the texture on it and that grippy plastic on it. The build quality of the case itself is really, really good. I've had no issues. No issues whatsoever. Now, that being said, again, this guy provides full protection for my um, Moto X Pure Edition. And as I said, that's important to me because, you know, I'm not the most careful person when it comes to using my devices. But at the same time, I do want to increase the longevity. So you got to get a case. It is what it is. And y'all already know, because I said it before on multiple videos, I'm not the best when it comes to installing screen protectors and what have you. So, nine times out of ten, if I could find a good price on an all-in-one case here, similar to what you see here, that's what I prefer to go with. Now, there are some factors that will make me shy away from a case like this. In particular, if I have a device that has wireless charging... I'm going to want to take advantage of that, then I'm going to have to do something different. Now, it's pretty hard to find a all-in-one case that's still thin enough to let you use wireless charging. So, that's that. That's probably the only instance where I wouldn't use an all-in-one case like this. So, there's that. But, for devices that don't have wireless charging, like my Moto X Pure Edition here, this is pretty much a must. Because this allows you to get full functionality out of your device and still have maximum protection. Alright? And you, like I said, still got full functionality here. So you got cutouts for your headphone jack up here. Headphone jack cutout. Got cutout for your charging port here. The screen protector portion. It's cutouts for your speaker grills. Cutouts for your camera. All your sensors still have their cutouts and they're in the right place here. But you still have maximum protection here for the screen and the device. So if it takes a tumble, it's going to be okay. And that's pretty much what I like. Because who knows, I might be out with family. We might go out for drinks and what have you. And, you know, you're not going to really care. You know, you're just trying to enjoy your family and use your device whenever you have to. So you're not really going to care what happens to it. So having that protective case is a must. Because these devices nowadays, it cost a lot of money. And you would hate to see you lose that return on your investment because you didn't want to take the time to get a good case. So, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, So my thoughts again. It's a really, really... Solid case, the eye blast on case. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I apologize. It's really solid and it still gives me all around functionality for my device with maximum protection. So now let's talk about the price. So I picked this guy up for, I think it was like $10 on Amazon. And for that price, you can't really beat that. That's Ten dollars. Why not? Maximum protection for your device at a really great price. Why not? So now let's just go into the comparison part of this video real quick. So as you can see, this is my Unicorn Beetle series case for my Moto X Pure Edition. And the one thing that um I was bummed out about was that they didn't have this one in stock. Cause you know this case has pretty much served me really well for almost a year. But as I said, there are some really, really bad grooves in the, um, in the screen protector portion. And when my phone is in this guy, it really does distract me. It, it's not even, 
showing up real good on camera. I can't even show. But take my word for it, guys. There's some really bad grooves in here. And when I have my phone in here and I'm using it, it distracts me a lot because, you know, I'm distracted by those grooves. I'm, I'm trying to watch my YouTube videos or my movies, and it's taken away from my experience with those deep grooves in there. So I had to go ahead and get another case. And the thing that I like there now is that these are all pretty much the same. See, still got all the cutouts for your buttons. Got your hard side rails. It's all there. It's all there. Hard side rails. Cutouts. Now, what I will say is that the buttons here on the, um, the, the Unicorn Beetle series are a little bit better than the buttons on the iBlastone here. These are a little bit harder to press than these. These, these pretty much like a pass through and it kind of feels like your phone is not in the case even though it is. So that's the one upside I would give to the uni Unicorn um, Beetle series over the iBlast on here. I think I'm butchering that. I'm sorry. But that's the one upside that I would give to the Unicorn Beetle series over this one here. Which is again why I was kind of disappointed that this one was out of stock. But here's the thing. This case, when I originally got it, was $20. This case was 10 bucks. So I get the same amount of protection and I save $10. Who doesn't want to save money, right? Right. So guys, that pretty much does it for this full review of the um, iBlast Home full protection case with built-in screen protector for the Moto X Pure Edition. And it also covers my quick little comparison slash versus video between this guy and the Unicorn uh, Beetle series also for the Moto X Pure Edition. Good stuff. Now, um, I would usually throw links to both of these guys in the video description. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look back for the Unicorn series, the uh, Unicorn Beetle series, and if I can find the links, I'll throw them in the description. All links to where to purchase the iBlast Stone here will be down in the video description. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please help your boy out and give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more raw, uncut content like this, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you get notified when I post new videos. And as I already said, all links to where to purchase these two cases will be down below in the video description. And as always, if you know anyone out there looking for some high quality affordable devices and products at some really great prices, please share with them my channel because I'm doing this for everyone. Alright, I hope everyone has a great day and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.